A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and today we'll be working with Marky in Dreamweaver. Let's first understand what a Marky is. Guys, this is PowerPoint and I just have one single page. So it's not exactly a slideshow. Let me expand the page, guys. Okay. Here it says a Marky will move some text or simply an image or an area okay so it could be an image a picture or just some a paragraph a phrase or a sentence it'll move it either left right up or down so there are four directions that I can attach to it you can also control the speed and also the times it will loop through that's very good uh, the speed can be controlled by two different uh, properties scroll amount and scroll delay they, they're actually attributes they work in tandem guys for scroll amount the default is 6 and for the scroll delay it's 85 anything above 6 and anything below 85 will make the marquee go faster anything beyond 85 will make it go slower anything lower than 6 will also make it go slower we can also make the marquee stop on mouse over when you take the mouse pointer over the area where the marquee is happening it we can make it to stop and resume its play when the mouse goes off the marquee we can attach three behaviors to a marquee tag guys we can either have it set to scroll which if we don't mention is the default slide or alternate now what is the difference between slide and alternate in this example I've used the alternate behavior it goes up towards the roof reaches the edge bounces off the top goes towards the bottom hits the bottom goes up again so when it bounces off the edges guys either left or right edges or top or bottom edges it's supposed to have an alternate behavior and uh, it's, it's it will have a slide behavior if it goes let's say from right to left and stops at the left edge goes from left to the right and stops at the right edge uh, so whenever it it stops at the extreme edge either left right top or bottom then it's supposed to have the slide behavior which is not the default behavior guys the default behavior is scroll okay so guys um, what will follow now is uh, the tutorial Pl I hope you'll enjoy and learn something please watch it a very good day to you people my name is Mohit and today we'll use the marquee in Dreamweaver let's get started guys you may be aware that everything that is under the body tag inside the body tag rather is what is visible on the web page and everything outside is not so let's first collapse everything that that is outside the body tag how do you do that all you need to do is click on this icon here if you take the mouse point over that icon it says collapse full tag but please press the alt key first and then hit it all right now everything that is inside the body tag will be shown here in the code view everything outside won't be that'll make it very easy for me to explain this example all right let's get started uh, guys we don't have an insert marquee uh, you know menu item here we'll need to do it manually let me start typing marquee all right the first thing that I'll set is the speed now speed is set through two attributes the first attribute is the scroll amount the second one is scroll delay they work in tandem and the result is the speed the scroll amount the default is six guys I repeat myself six and the scroll delay the, scr uh, the, the default is 85 85 milliseconds actually uh, okay so let me start typing I'll say scroll amount and in inverted course I'll say 9 because I want to make it a little faster scroll delay guys if the scroll delay is 85 it will not make any change to the output result that is but if anything less than uh, 85 
will actually tick off the marquee a little faster anything beyond 85 will have the result of decelerating the marquee I will uh, for this example select 75 okay next guys I want to select a background color I want the area where the marquee is happening should have a background color of gray the moment I type background color Dreamweaver allows me to pick the color let me choose a very light gray which is a hash C C C C C C all right very very cool next guys let me also define an area in which I want the marquee to happen let's say I want the width to be uh, 200 and the height to be uh, 200 as well all right very very nice what else let me also give it a direction guys by default whenever you make marquees and don't specify the direction it's always from right to left then it leaves from the left hand side of the screen enters again from the right hand side and leaves again from the left hand side but I want to change the direction I want to set it to up so I'll say up very very good next what I want to do is I let me also give it a behavior guys we have three behaviors alternate scroll and slide I am going for the alternate behavior what this will do is the marquee will start and start kick off in a direction which is up it will start going towards the roof it will hit the roof go towards the bottom hit the bottom go towards the roof once again alright and uh, as I said there are two more behaviors uh, slide and scroll right let me insert one more attribute which is the loop okay now if I keep the loop to minus one this means that uh, the text it could even be an image guys yes that was something very important that I forgot to tell you you can mark e text you can mark e an image too I might as well say uh, please mark e IMG SRC that's absolutely all right and uh, I can even mark e a div if there's an image sitting inside a div and there's a text and images sitting inside the div and I put mark e tags on both ends of the div I, I might as well see the div going up and down left and right well there's so much that I can do with marquee well as I said if I leave the loop to minus one uh, it will have the result of uh, marquee going on endlessly but if I say uh, I want to loop it only four times it will happen only four times guys there are f uh, there's a class that I want to attach as well but I think I'll show it to you uh, let me first show you how it actually looks in the browser right now okay let me put some text now I'll say I teach guys online throughout the globe dream beaver flash and fireworks CS5 CS5.5 yes guys I teach uh, guys all around the globe I've taught people in the US UK Sweden now uh, online that's my profession I teach online guys if you want to be one please join me I teach Dreamweaver, Flash and Fireworks, CS5, CS5.5 and I combine Action Script 3. I, I, I cover it extensively. And I'm now I'm migrating to CS5.5. Let me close the marquee tag. Right. Now before I actually show you more attributes, more properties, let me first show you how it actually looks like in the browser first we'll take a live view right here wow do you see that guys it actually 
looped four times and then it came to a halt. The initial direction was uh, an up. Let me show it to you again. In fact, I, I think I'll skip the browser. The live view is good enough. Very good. Guys, the next thing, uh, as I said, I wanted to do was attach a class because here I don't get to see a margin. I don't get to see padding. I don't get to see borders. So these are a few more attributes that I want to attach using a class. Let me go inside the marquee tag and type a little more. Oh, oh yes, before I actually attach the class, uh, th there is a few uh, few more things that I want to attach. I want that on my marquee should stop scrolling. If I take my mouse over the area, the gray area, the arena, and uh, once I take my mouse pointer off that gray part, that gray area, it should resume playing. And that's achieved in the following manner. I'll say on mouse over. stop parent parent semicolon and similarly on on uh, why am I not getting the code hinting guys give me a sec let me think right I'm getting it now sorry and on mouse out I want it to start again so start parent parent semicolon or a semicolon right before I actually attach the class, let me show you in the live view how it would look like now. So it's scrolling, it'll do four loops. And see, the moment I took my mouse pointer over, it stopped. And the moment I'll take it off, it will resume. And since all the four loops got over, it actually comes to a, a complete slop, a stop. And now if I mouse over or mouse out, it'll start again. But what happens here is, uh, since all those four loops got over, it does not continue for a very long time. Let me increase the number of loops to, let's say, 10. Then I'll show you how it looks like. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Very nice. Guys, so we have understood how we can mouse over and mouse out and make the marquee stop and start. Now let's attach a class because I want some padding, I want some margins and I want a border. Let's see how we can actually do that. Let me go inside the marquee tag and um, I'll say class and I'll name it few more attributes. And then, guys, what I'll do is I will create a new CSS class by hitting this plus symbol. And uh, Dreamweaver understands the name that I want to give this class is actually a dot few more attributes. That's very smart. I'll leave the contextual selector to class. And I'll say OK. Then I'll go to the box category guys this is the most important category of all the other categories this is where all the magic is this is where we usually go a lot and I will give it a padding of let's say 50 and a margin of 50 as well then I'll go to the border area and I'll give it a solid rather I'll give it an inset margin inset that'll make it look like a concave effect guys depressed pushed in kind of an effect and a thick let's say a maroon colored border I'm gonna say okay 
and uh, now we have also attached a class guys to the marquee let me look in the live view how it looks like right now amazing we have a 50 pixels of uh, Uh, border I'm sorry <laughs> we we have a 50 px of border uh, 10 px of border 50 px of um, margin space outside the marquee is the margin and we have 50 px of uh, the padding it goes inside uh, so that the difference between margin and padding is padding goes inside margin goes outside I hope you like the tutorial I'll bring in much more tutorial guys uh, keep in touch uh, rate subscribe or comment if you like I would urge you to do it I thrive on it I'll see you next time with yet another tutorial bye bye